What's up guys? Welcome to the Half Amazing TV YouTube channel. I am Johnny Fontana and I'll be bringing to you nightclub tips, news, tutorials, and of course, disagreements. We're just some men that's on the mic And when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic Before I get started, I want to go ahead and explain to you what's, what this is all about, okay? I've created a concept called Booth Rider, okay? I have a, a website in the works, okay, called Booth Rider TV. And Booth Rider, okay, is an actual concept by which you are a student of the game, okay? We are as DJs, okay, need to always be on our grind, not only DJing, but learning, educating ourselves and also educating others, okay? So booth riding, the act of booth riding is essentially you being inside of a booth as a DJ, DJ technician or your supporter, okay? Or someone just hanging out and, and you know, being part of the actual scene. You're booth riding. I mean, it's a simple concept, right? But in order to be an official booth rider, okay, in order to really earn the title of a booth writer, okay? You have to understand that it's a movement, it's a way of life. It's not a DJ click, it's not a group of DJs, it's a way of life, okay? And there are certain components to this way of life uh, as a booth writer. Okay, you gotta ride or die, I mean, like seriously, you know? And I'm, I'm trying to take this movement forward because I wanna have this conversation with the DJ community as a whole because I think right now is a good time to have this conversation you know with the DJs as a community you know and and I want you guys if you have cameras get on your cameras start having this conversation recording you recording your your videos and let's have this conversation you know um, it, I'm all for it you know but booth riding is all about night clubbing okay nightclub tips it's that it has nothing to do with uh, undermining the other forms of DJing. Obviously, other forms of DJs will be able to learn from the nightclub tips, but we are solely dealing with the nightclub tips because that's where the, the real magic happens when it comes to parties um, in, in, in that sort of environment in terms of taking people on journeys and, and having that experience you know, under certain you know, elements and with, with with different factors being involved, okay? So in order to earn that title of a booth writer, you have to not only have a career, okay, if DJing is not your source of income, then you need to be able to mobilize yourself, okay, and to elevate yourself in a, in a way that you can now also educate those on the come up, because that's what it's all about. It's not about, well, I, I'm a DJ, I've done my thing, and I'm going to move on. No, it's about continuing the movement, the forward thinking, okay, and the evolution of the DJ culture. And that's what it's all about. So, you have to actually, you know, be DJing regularly. You have to have a career, okay, if, if that's not providing you the actual income, okay, to, to, uh, to sustain your your uh, your your daily you know life activities and you also need to be fit functionally physically and mentally as well okay because it's all about longevity okay because being in the nightclub industry it's hard especially when you're when you're traveling and you're doing all types of crazy stuff like you know s s going to bed at four in the afternoon after doing a marathon set you know I mean it can get rough so you need to be able to sustain your actual body mentally functionally and physically all put together okay and the last component of being a booth writer is to now educate others on the come up you saw we, we touched on that before I mean, it's not just about just, hey, I'm a DJ and I don't want, you know, you to, you know, basically take away my shine. 
You know, it's, it has nothing to do with that. I'll give you, I'll give you an example, okay? Story time, okay? So how passionate I am about this thing right here, right? I remember it was back in the day, it was 2000. That's when I was in the Marine Corps. I heard, shout out to all my Marines, you know, that are DJs. Matter of fact, shout out to all the military guys that are DJs, okay, that are doing their thing overseas, okay? And uh, I was living in Quantico, Virginia, and I would go back home like every other weekend, right? And I would go to this club called Drama Nightclub in New Jersey, right? And that's where I, where I met my man, not my man, my man, but, you know, my dude, my friend, DJ friend, uh, DJ Matt, okay? He was on the, on the top level of, uh, of Drama Nightclub. And obviously, you know, I go in because I do like a swoop, you know, because I only had like two days, you know, from, from Friday, Saturday, and then I had to come back Sunday. I had to like a four hour drive from, from you know, Virginia to, uh, to New York. So I would go to the club on my own because most of my friends, you know, they weren't really DJs, they weren't really interested in partying like that. So I'd be on my own, right? But it gets so packed in there that I'm like, man, like, what am I gonna do? You know, because I'm a DJ too. But it's like, I'm not with anyone, I, I, you know, I used to dance, but I'm not in the mood to dance, you know, especially by myself, so, you know, what do I do? So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and talk to that DJ and, you know, see if he's cool. And I'm telling you right there, I just walked up to the booth and I was like, yo, bro, you mind? DJ Matt was like, come up. I mean, obviously, he was like, yo, bro, like, shut the fuck up, don't say anything, don't touch my stuff, don't ask me any questions, if I'm in a mix... Don't tap me and ask me what that song is. Just sit there and just freaking learn. And that's where Booth Riding was born. In Drama Nightclub 2000 with DJ Mad. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's show DJ Mad some love. Hit it. To take it even further, over the over the uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, all right, because we we lost touch, all right, and it was one of those things where it wasn't that I would go to the club and then we would have you know breakfast at the diner afterwards. No, it was I come in, I booth rode, all right. I was a booth rider for that whatever two hours, three hours, okay, and I would head out. I mean, he would slam in the 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 the, the Latin. The, the the reggae, the house, the hip hop. I mean, I'm talking about like with cutting and on vinyl too. This was back in 2000. Cutting and scratching. I mean, really, like it was packed, right? So there was no real relationship. It was a booth rider versus DJ relationship. You know, me being a student of the game and learning. So finally, after 13 years, remember this is 2000. 13 years. Uh, the other week. You know, I Facebooked them because of social media, you know, you get to contact people. And within like five minutes, DJ Man replied. And I was like, yo, bro, like, yo, you know, remember me? I used to booth ride with you. Obviously, he didn't know what booth riding was, but I was like, yo, I used to booth ride. I used to hang out with you in the, uh, in the actual DJ booth, you know, back in the day, 2000, and Drama Nightclub. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm starting this thing where, you know, I'm, I'm filming DJs, you know, and, and we're getting behind the scene and, and we're talking about how the actual night develops and, you know, do you want to be part of it? He was like, yo, I'm in. Boom. I was like, man! <laughs> I was like, I can't believe it. Like, this is happening. But guess what? I get to share that with you. You see what I'm saying to you? Now, you're going to be able to experience what I experienced. But now DJ... DJ, DJ man, he blew up now. Obviously, he's torn. He's going to Canada. He's doing all these things. He's going to Colombia. He's going to Mexico. I mean, the guy is like really on top of his game right now. You know what I'm saying? Plus, he's also spinning locally. But I tell you, like, it was a great feeling because it wasn't just for me. It wasn't like, oh man, I'm getting this. It's like, no, I get, I get to show this to the DJ community. You know what I'm saying? I get to educate these guys. You know. And we can have the conversation about it. Like we can, you know, ask questions. Okay, well, how, how did this happen? And then I learned from that, you know, through my research and through comments and questions, you know, I'll develop more ideas. And that's how I operate. And then I'll take it to the streets. You see what I'm saying to you? Okay. okay. No. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Fucking thing sucks.